Five days. That's all the time we have left before the interstellar comet 3i Atlas reaches its closest approach to Earth and then vanishes forever into the cosmic depths. But in the last 48 hours, three of the world's most powerful telescopes have made a discovery that fundamentally changes our understanding of this cosmic visitor. On December 12th, Gemini North Observatory on Hawaii released images showing a remarkable transformation, 3i Atlas, the interstellar comet we've been tracking since its discovery in July, now glows in an unmistakable green. For those of you who observed Comet Hale-Bopp in 1997 or McNaught in 2007, this green glow might seem familiar. But with 3i Atlas, it means something special. We're finally seeing what a comet from another solar system is truly made of. And the green is only the beginning of the story. The green glow comes from a molecule called diatomic carbon, C2, two carbon atoms tightly bound together that fluoresce in a characteristic green spectral region when excited by sunlight. Now you might say that's nothing new, many comets glow green, and you'd be right. But here's the crucial point, 3i Atlas didn't do this for months. From July through October as the comet approached the sun, it showed a rather reddish coloration. The spectra indicated dust and oxidized materials, the original ancient crust of an object that had drifted through interstellar space for billions of years. But in late October, 3i Atlas passed its perihelion, the closest point to the sun on its journey. It came within 210 million kilometers of our star, just inside Mars in orbit. And there, something fascinating happened. The intense solar radiation penetrated deeper into the comet's nucleus than ever before. Ice that had been frozen since formation in another star system began to sublimate. And with the ice, molecules escaped that revealed to us the true chemical nature of 3i Atlas. The green is just one part of a much larger puzzle that astronomers are assembling in real time. On December 3rd, ESA pointed its XMM Newton X-ray telescope at 3i Atlas for a full 20 hours. What they saw was remarkable. When you think of comets, you probably think of visible light, the glowing coma, and the majestic tail. But X-rays? That's unusual. Here's what happens. As 3i Atlas races through space, it continuously releases gas and dust, the coma we can see. But this material collides with the solar wind, that constant stream of charged particles our sun hurls into space. During these collisions, a process occurs that physicists call charge exchange. High energy ions from the solar wind strip electrons from the comet's molecules. And when these electrons fall back to lower energy states, they emit X-rays. What makes this so valuable? X-ray observations can detect molecules that are practically invisible to optical telescopes, specifically molecular hydrogen, H2, and molecular nitrogen, N2. Both are fundamental to our understanding of how comets form and what they can reveal about their home systems. Analysis of this X-ray data is still ongoing, but preliminary results suggest that 3i Atlas indeed contains substantial amounts of volatile compounds, far more than its long journey through interstellar space would suggest. And then there are the ice volcanoes. In a recently published preprint, researchers describe spiral-shaped jets emanating from 3i Slas, not the usual diffuse gas plumes we know from comets, but structured directed ejections, their interpretation, cryovolcanism, ice volcanoes, Here's the proposed scenario. Inside 3i Slas exist pockets of solid carbon dioxide, dry ice. As solar radiation warmed the comet, this CO2 reached its sublimation point and transformed directly from solid to gaseous state. This sudden pressure increase could have mobilized fluids inside the comet, fluids that react with metallic grains. Iron, nickel, sulfides, primitive materials that had been locked away since the comet's formation. These chemical reactions release additional energy, drive further outgassing, and create a self-reinforcing process. The result? Jets that shoot from the surface like small eruptions. To test this theory, researchers compared spectroscopic data from 3i Atlas with primitive meteorites from Antarctica, so-called carbonaceous chondrites. And indeed, the match is striking. This suggests that 3i Atlas is made of similar primordial material as the oldest objects in our own solar system. With one crucial difference, it formed elsewhere, under possibly different conditions, in a different star system. But perhaps the most fascinating discovery concerns the building blocks of life itself. The Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile, ALMA, one of the world's most powerful radio telescopes, has identified significant amounts of two molecules in 3i Atlas's coma, methanol and hydrogen cyanide. For chemists, these aren't ordinary molecules, they're precursors, building blocks from which more complex organic compounds can emerge compounds that are essential for life as we know it. Methanol, CH3OH, is the simplest alcohol. In the right environment, it can react to form formaldehyde and other molecules that play a role in prebiotic chemistry. Hydrogen cyanide, HCN, is even more interesting. 
It's a key molecule in the synthesis of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, and of nucleotides, the building blocks of DNA. This raises a fascinating question. If interstellar comets like 3i Atlas carry these molecules into other star systems, could they spread life? Not as bacteria or microbes, but as chemical raw materials, as a cosmic recipe book? It's the old panspermia hypothesis, reconsidered through the lens of interstellar objects. On December 19th, in less than five days, 3i Atlas reaches its closest approach to Earth, 270 million kilometers. By astronomical standards, that's close, close enough for Hubble, for JWST, for all our best instruments to capture every detail, and then, then it moves away. Past Jupiter in March 2026, out beyond the Oort cloud, back into the depths of interstellar space, its green glow will fade, the jets will fall silent, and in a few thousand years, 3i Atlas will once again be just a cold, dark rock drifting between the stars. But for us, here and now, it's a window, a glimpse into the chemical diversity of the cosmos, a messenger from an alien solar system, showing us that out there, in the galactic night, worlds exist whose material we can touch, if only for a brief, precious moment. The green glow of 3i Atlas is more than just a beautiful spectrum. It's the light of knowledge, shining brightly across the gulfs of time and space. 